understand that they're an asset to the railway. Many of the trucks like to talk to the engine outside of work. Indeed, all trucks were very friendly once an engine got to know them. However, there was once a truck who was not friendly at all. In fact, he was a very, very awful truck. It has been said that something went wrong when his builder constructed him. A river was out of line, or his wood was rotten, no one quite knows. What was certain is that he placed many engines in a great deal of danger, but one day he went too far. The morning was brisk when it happened. A thick fog had descended on the island, and Percy the Green Engine had arrived at the quarry to arrange his trucks for his first trip down the branch line. He was very tired that morning and wasn't attending to what he was doing. The evil truck, due to his dangerous nature, had been placed on a remote siding to prevent engines from using him, but Percy's greatness and the thick fog caused him to misjudge which siding he took trucks from, without knowing he had placed an evil truck at the head of the train. <laughs> didn't recognise the mistake either. He loaded the wagons without objection. The time came for Percy to leave, and he pulled out of the quarry none the wiser the disaster laid ahead. The time came for Percy to leave, and he pulled out of the quarry none the wiser the disaster lay ahead. branch line ran around sharp curves on a steep hill. If an engine was to fall off the rails, he might slide down the hill and crash into one of the many neighbouring cottages. The fat controller had placed fences along the track to prevent this, but the evil truck had other plans. After Percy had cleared the waterfall, he started down the first bend. The evil truck screeched on his brakes, signalling the other trucks to hold back. Sudden force pulled down on Percy's rear coupler, kicking his front wheels off the rails. Oh, oh, oh Percy cried. Then the truck surged ahead, and with a crack of the coupling, Percy came off the rails onto the crest of the hill. His wheels, still moving, began to grip the soil, and he jerked forward down the hill. The fog was so thick that he couldn't see where he was going. The evil truck knew. Hi, Percy! Tumbled and tumbled until he saw the outline of a cottage ahead. Oh, horrors! yelled Percy. Sensing the impending crash, Percy's driver and fireman jumped from the footplate. Meanwhile, the evil truck had forced the train's brakes so he could stop and listen. A few seconds later, Percy careened into the house. 
from the top of the hill, the truck heard the sounds of wood splintering and the muffled cries of those inside. You're insane, another truck added. We didn't expect this to happen. But the evil truck didn't care. His laughter echoed over the hills and below to where Percy laid, battered and bruised. Tragic accident left a deep scar. Percy was mended, but the lives of those in the cottage were lost. In disgrace, the controller scrapped the evil truck immediately. From then on, he was very careful about the character of the trucks. 